public sector is full of challenges when it comes to adopting new technology. Join us in historic downtown Austin, Texas, as we talk to SADA Systems about these challenges and how they've built .maps. Thanks for joining me, Oleg. Tell me a little bit more about SADA. Uh, SADA is traditionally a consulting company that has migrated users from on-prem solutions to cloud-based uh, platforms like Google Cloud Platform. Through that experience, we've gained all of this expertise in various verticals, uh, specifically in the public sector space. That's where my team comes in and helps enable uh, the public sector uh, leveraging cloud specifically. So from a technical perspective, what makes the public sector different? So the public sector has unique challenges and traditionally they've been underserved by on-prem, slow to roll out solutions that really do not scale. When we see this very frequently in all of the RFPs and all of the requests for scalability and the ability to integrate with various services that they already have today. So what does that look like when, you know, when they need to come in and they need to bring a new solution to something they've been doing for 20 or 30 years? Where are the technical challenges with that? Yeah, so the technical challenges there are very interesting because they have a system that they use today and they say, look, what you're offering is amazing, but for the interim, we would like to continue to use these systems. And also we have various departments within our organization that are not going to start using your system. They're going to continue to use the application that they're familiar with, um, maybe ArcGIS, Esri, what have you, or some, some database solution, maybe an access database. They're going to continue to use that solution, but we want Adam or dot maps to feed that data in real time and integrate seamlessly, provide rich analytics and so forth. So they're not ready to, to completely abandon the existing solutions, but they want to migrate and start using modern technology and, and the cloud specifically. But it's also technology that's built on top of what they have, not to replace all of it. Exactly. So what we have is we integrate with their existing systems and we're pulling data almost real time into the application, into the cloud, consuming that data and essentially making that workflow seamless for them. So they're using the existing systems while also leveraging the new technology that uh, our products offer. So let's talk a little bit more about like dot maps, for example. How is dot maps built? Yeah, so the architecture of dot maps is essentially living on uh, GKE, Google Kubernetes engine, and uh, we're using Cloud SQL for the data storage layer. and. Essentially, it's broken up to, into various microservices that handle very specific needs. So we have a public uh, portal viewer, we have a calendar, we have all of the various integrations that we have within um, specific cities, and all of those are built and isolated within their own services that can then scale up and down uh, accordingly. And that's kind of one of the, the nice parts about having the cloud, right? So exactly. they're able to use Google Maps platform to do the actual interface, yep. all the work kind of gets done in Kubernetes, and that's a, and then there's a database, and that's about it. Exactly, exactly. So when considering that architecture, has that helped kind of people start to adopt? It has. So the traditional user that uses uh, dot maps um, from the utility space or the public space, they're already familiar with Google Maps, and they want the experience to be very, very similar. So as with Google Maps nobody gets trained on Google Maps. They just log in and where do I need to go? Where are my points of interest? What have you? That's already there. And that's the same experience that we're trying to push to our users. Well, thank you so much, Oleg, for coming in and telling us about how SADA built these solutions in the cloud. Thank you. Thanks for watching and stay tuned for the next episode where we dive into the technical side of Adam. <laughs>